wild, swampy Georgia creature. What's up, y'all? It's Human Cargo here. Um, it is the beginning of October. Uh, so anyways, um, Babu's dropped us off down here in Savannah. Uh, we're going to be taking CSX down to Jacksonville. And then when we get to Jacksonville, we'll decide whether to continue south on CSX or to just take uh, the Florida East Coast Railway. I'm leaning more towards taking FEC, but um, honestly, the furthest that I've been to in Florida on the rails is Jacksonville. So either way, whether we take CSX or FEC, it's going to be all brand new rails for me. I've never done this route, so... It's going to be fun, but um, either way, that's pretty much the story. Um, right now, just chilling, enjoying some shade, letting Olivia run around this massive field back here and uh, having a cold one. But yeah. We're like right by the yard. We just heard a northbound pulling in to the yard here. So it's nice to, uh, it's been probably about a month or two since I've ridden. So it's nice to be back in that environment versus, you know, the car. I just had to change the uh, alternator, the spark plugs. And that's really it that I've had to do recently with it. But, you know, just making sure that my uh, my old lady has a reliable car, you know. But yeah, other than that, sorry. Uh, since the last video, we were pretty much at that campground for the allotted 14 days. Um... In the National Forest, you can camp for 14 days. Um, and then you just have to move to another location. It's pretty much just so that, you know, just to s environmentally sound, for anything past 14 days becomes a little bit damaging to the ecosystem there. But, uh, so we were there for about 14, I don't think we stayed the full 14 days. I think we stayed for like 12 days. Um, that campground was really nice because in contrast to where we stay in the Owari National Forest, that spot in the Pisgah National Forest, uh, that spot specifically, is actually really close to town. Like where we were in Owari, it was like 10 or so miles just to get onto paved road. And then it was like another 30 to the closest grocery store. So we were a little bit further out then. Which is definitely, luckily we have a little car. Because the gas prices the way they are, luckily since our car is small, we can still fill the tank for about 23, 23 24 bucks. Depending on where we are, we're in the south, so the gas is a little bit better down here. Um, right where we are in Savannah, we're looking at like 
in some places like 288 is about the lowest that we found which is really fucking good compared to like being up in new england where it was like almost five dollars it's insane but yep that's it i'm kind of just rambling right now because there's really nothing going on until tomorrow as far as south mounds out of here so i guess i'll just check back in then Well, we're here at the south end of the yard. Our train should be pulling in here in the next couple of hours. Um, this is just where I'm waiting. It's kind of in some brush along the curve of the track. Uh, I usually wait under this bridge up here, but god damn, it's like, a, it's like a, what do you call it? home bum mansions under there now I mean there's like literally like on this side there's somebody who has like a bed room and a living room and a whole kitchen and same on that side and just piles and piles of trash so we just stay in over here wait for the train a lot cleaner. And I don't gotta worry about. Hey, you! This is my spot. I've been sleeping here for 28,000 years. I've been here since before the birth of Christ. So, anyway, our train should be pulling up here and picking up a cut of cars back that way into the yard. And, uh,. Then we should be Jacksonville bound. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with holding this camera. And I gotta use the, um, the, the out facing camera because my screen is cracked right over the front facing uh, camera. When I dropped it getting on the train in Chicago. So, I feel like there's a stick in my hair and I can't fucking find it. Alright, I'm gonna be, uh, see you soon. our train. Hopefully we can get some rides coming up here soon. Okay, let's get ready to go. We are now aboard our Jacksonville Express southbound CSX. see that but that is the front of our train looks like it's backing up to pick up these couple strings over here so we'll see what happens hopefully they don't leave us here Well, we effed up, and our cut of cars is uh, staying here in Savannah, um, which would suck a lot less if this wasn't 
the only southbound for the whole day. There's only one train that goes south. So we have to wait until this time tomorrow and do it right. I guess I'm just a little rusty. Well, there's the yard there. I decided instead of taking the access road, there were some discarded railroad ties, so I just made a little bridge with one of them so I could get across the moat. It's always disappointing when you're on a train and then you get ditched here. The last time I hopped out of here, all it did was pick up cars. So I, I didn't even take into account that it might also, from time to time, drop off cars here. Like I said, last time I hopped out of here, we just picked up cars and kept going. So, uh, well, it's a little disappointing, but it's whatever. You know, I'm not on any real schedule. I mean, I just got dropped off here at the yard yesterday afternoon. So. But anyways, we avoided the access road by building that bridge. And now we can take this industry track back to the catch out spot it looks like there's also an abandoned rail one more patch of woods up either way this is some of the fun and games that go into train riding um, so I'm not going to update again until we're on a train that's actually leaving Savannah um, so I'm just going to sit here and drink a beer and then start walking back towards town, I guess, out. This was, uh, the engines on this were Georgia Central. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe these, uh, when they get here to Savannah, they become Georgia Central's, uh, job but uh we're in a different spot than we were in yesterday this should give us a better uh, a better idea of what's going on so we don't end up on a fucking string of cars that's getting left here All right. well, see ya Hopefully this is my train because I had to fucking run through a fucking swamp to get on this shit. It feels pretty good to be riding a train again after a few months of being in that car. Uh, so we're about three hours in a vehicle to Jacksonville, so probably about six hours. And uh, then we're going to link up with FEC probably in a day or two, maybe early next week. My birthday is on the 15th, it's the 8th, so I'll probably be spending my birthday somewhere in southern Florida. Not too shabby. So 
somebody's got some sort of a house over there. I think this is the Salt River or something. Beautiful. Just past Jessup, so we're going to be going through Waycross, then Folkston, and then we're pretty much in Jacksonville. The pretty short ride. So I misspoke. We're not going to be going through Waycross at all. We're about an hour away from uh, the CSX Duval yard. Uh, hopefully we stop near that yard before going down to Moncrief. Uh, I think this train does have to drop some cars there. Um, that's a nicer area to get off than by the Amtrak station. So we'll see what happens. That's Jacksonville down there. There goes our train backing up into the yard. Here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> 